This week, the Ugandan Army and Armed Forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo announced joint operations against the ADF militia based in eastern Congo, which is blamed for a string of recent bombings in Kampala and killing hundreds of Congolese civilians. On Tuesday, the spokesperson of Uganda People's Defense Forces, Brigadier Flavio Viequaso, revealed that Uganda carried on a joint air and artillery strike, while Congo said special forces from both countries would be deployed to secure bases belonging to the Islamist inspired allied democratic forces. As preparations take shape for a Congo invasion, former presidential candidate and army commander Major General Mugisha Montu has urged UPDF commanders and officials to use this opportunity to rewrite the wrongs they committed during the First Congo War in the then Zaire between 1996 and 1997. Uganda was accused of committing atrocities and looting when it was in Congo. It's going to depend on how they act. Because we have a history in Congo. Unfortunately, it's an ugly history. Last time UPDF was in Congo, its, it's image was really bashed. Literally went down onto the ground because of the, you know, the nature of the commanders who were there, who engaged in looting and all kinds of things. That's the image UPDF got from Congo that time. So there is an opportunity now for those who are in command of UPDF now to know that there is an opportunity for UPDF to salvage its image by acting different. Therefore, they must keep focused on the mission. General Magisha Muntu also warned Ugandan soldiers against committing acts which violate human rights, revealing that it will tarnish the image of the army in the country. Those operations are going to be critical. For the whole international press, everybody is going to be focusing on that operation. They have to avoid human rights violations of the civilian population there. If they want to salvage the image of UPD, that's an opportunity. And they can't do that if they remain focused on the mission. But if they don't do that, that would be an additional dent on the already damaged image in as far as the last operation was in Congo. Mojo spoke out against the way decisions are made by the state without any consultations. According to General Mojo, there is lack of respect for the rule of law which governs the country. The operations of UPDF in Congo are legitimate. The manner in which the force went is irregular and wrong. Because while the discussions were held with the DRC Congo, which was right for UPDF to intervene in, in DRC East, General Seveni, as the commander in chief and, and as, as uh, one who knows that the constitution requires that deployment outside the borders should be discussed and sanctioned by parliament should have carried out measures of how that could have been done. On 12th March 1996, Major General Mugisha Montu, who was the army commander, told parliament that Uganda People's Defense Forces had crossed into Zaire to chase rebels of the Allied Democratic Front, who had made it a habit to invade Uganda from Zaire. Story by Ramla Katumba for CTV, PM Edition.